Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is in collaboration with Estee Lauder. I'm very excited. I'm going to be swatching my favorite colors from their Pure Color Envy Paint On Liquid Lip Color line. They're really beautiful, vibrant, fun lip shades that I think you're going to love. And I'm also going to be demonstrating the new Double Wear Foundation. Because I'm swatching those lip colors, I'm going to be showing you my favorite makeup to showcase a lip color. Got some nice definition to the eyes, finished with some fluffy lashes, and that balances everything out really nicely with a lip like this. All right, we're gonna have some fun doing this. I hope you enjoy the video. When it comes to lips, I really like to have a nice even base and a really kind of neutral look. A bit of glow is always good and definitely a little bit of blush, but not too much because I'm already gonna have color on my lips. So I'm going to obviously start out with foundation because if we're doing like a simple eye, there's no need to do your foundation after. So I'm going to do foundation first, get that out of the way. As you can see, I've broken out a lot, so I really can't wait to get this on. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. I love the Double Wear line. I wore Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup on my wedding day. It photographs so well, it looks so flawless, and it just stays so good. This one promises a nice, even, healthy looking complexion, but also providing coverage. So it's kind of perfect for summer, perfect summer foundation. I'm going to use a paddle brush. Ooh, wow, it's just melting into my skin. <gasps> Did you see that? That blemish is gone. And up close, my skin looks divine. I'm really pleased with it. My skin looks glowy and fresh. It is a really nice, I think, natural finish to the skin. What do you think? Okay, so the foundation is on. I really love the finish. This is a light to medium coverage foundation, and I only did one layer, so I'm really impressed with the coverage of all those blemishes there. I mean, you could see how many there were. It was just nuts. And I'm really impressed. Now there's only like three things to cover with concealer, and so I'm pretty happy with that. This one is good for everyday wear, I think, especially in summer, because it's got the SPF. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. Really nice your skin, but like better look, obviously, because it's more even and radiant. Um, and it's long wearing, 24 hour wear. So it's perfect for like the beach, poolside, outdoor summery weddings, music festivals, outdoor event for summer. And especially because it's just, it's more appropriate for like every day. Cool, so I've got that on. Now I'm gonna do or cover a little bit of my blemishes with some concealer. This is the Double Wear Concealer. I actually bought this from Shoppers yesterday. So they had like a cool one and a warm one. So as you can see, I don't think I'd really be either of these, so I'm gonna mix them. I'll add a little bit of powder. This is the Double Wear Powder. So I want radiance everywhere else, but I do want a bit of matteness like there in the center. I only just bought this yesterday. I've never used it, but seeing as I love the Double Wear line, I really should have it, right? I only dip the brush twice because I don't want to cover too much. Okay, pleased with that, I'm gonna use my usual brow pencil. I like really nice polished brows, especially if I'm gonna be wearing like lipstick, but I don't wanna color them in like fully. So I'm trying to leave like some patches so that it kind of looks more natural. So I'll take the foundation brush through the whole brow. Mm-hmm. Easy neutral eye. When I'm gonna wear bright lips or any kind of lipstick really, um, I do like to tone down the eye makeup. Unless it's a super fancy occasion, generally I'll just try to tone down the makeup. So you can take a nice neutral shade, sweep it through the crease of the eye. So I'm just trying to define my features, not do like any particular kind of eye look. I didn't even prime my eye, living on the wild side. Taking this matte white and I'll put it all over the lid. I'm just gonna brighten and pop my eyelids. Who doesn't want their eyelids to pop? Then, Take your pick between it, like any kind of darker eyeshadow color. Then with a little smudgy brush, I just like to define the outer part of my eye. You can do this with eyeliner as well. And then blend it out. 
And then eyeliner. Nothing goes better with a good lippy. This is the little black liner. It's interesting because it has this flat paddle eyeliner so you can customize your look there. And it also has the classic flip eyeliner. And I'm gonna use the classic end and try to do a nice little wing. Ooh, pleased with that. Okay, other side. Wow. Snaps for Chloe. Good job. <laughs> okay, my lashes are in recovery mode right now, so I've got to curl them. Victoria Beckham mascara. Is anyone else obsessed with VB? I just love her. Victoria Beckham. Not Victoria Bitters. <laughs> Now, I did like want to put lashes on, but I'm not 100% sure if I do now because I like how that's looking. Hmm. Okay, that would drastically change the look. Okay, I decided to go for the lashes. They look good. All right, I'm gonna add some bronzer now just to add a little bit of depth. Oh, that pimple there is so annoying. My highlight's gonna catch on it. I might not do highlighter today then. How sad. A little bit of that double wear concealer under my eye. Whoa, that brightened it right up. I'll add a small amount of blush using my Pixie palette. Okay, we are at this point. Now I'm ready for lipstick. Okay, now I'm up nice and close so you can see my lips really well. Hi. And now I'm gonna be doing the Pure Color Envy swatches. So I'm gonna be swatching these today. These are the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Paint On Liquid Lip Color. They come in this beautiful packaging. They have metallic finish, they have matte finish, and they have vinyl finish. So I've picked my favorites from the range and I'm gonna be putting them on my lips. Okay, I don't have anything on my lips. I've been putting a lot of lip balms on throughout the day just to keep my lips soft. I'm most excited for the metallics because I think they're really fun, so I'm gonna start out with those. So this one is Glow Coral. It's a metallic, like I said. It's a really intense color. Take a look. So one of my tips when applying liquid lipstick is to rest your elbows on the table in front of you if there is a table in front of you and you can either hold a mirror or have a mirror in front of you. I hold the product like this in between these two fingers and then I take my pinky and pop it on my chin and that way I've got some stability and I can also pivot using that pinky and then I have more control and more stability to apply the lip color. I always start with the cupid's bow and then the other side. Then I swivel my brush so that the thinnest part is at the outer corner. And then you can fill it all in. And then the lower lip is really easy. I just kind of go for it. That is such a pretty coral shade. The metallic is such a good finish. Ooh, it's extremely smooth and it doesn't highlight any of the texture that I had on my lips which is really important to me because I get really dry lips so it's good that that's not getting like stuck in amongst it which is really gross when that happens if you want to outline your lips a little bit I know that a lot of people like to you know fake the appearance of bigger lips just be aware that you shouldn't go past your vermilion border which is that little white ridge that's just around the edge of your lips if you go past that it will actually catch the light as you turn and you'll be able to see the ridge of the vermilion border so you can only go up to that don't go past it next now one of the liquid vinyl shades, this one's called Lava Flow. These are extremely soft and smoothing on the lips. I think I read that they have like hyaluronic acid in them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Sultry wet vinyl sheen. That is beautiful. I'm gonna put this one in my handbag actually. I wanna wear that to dinner. Super comfortable and quite thin. Like not gloopy at all, look. 
None of those little strings coming down, which can be so annoying. All right, let's try a matte. This one is called Orchid Flare. It's a really beautiful plum. I went a bit far out of the lines, so just taking a bit of that concealer we used earlier around the edges. So these are dry down mattes, no transfer, completely matte. It's a very thin matte as well. I applied two layers, but it still feels like nothing on my lips. It's very matte feeling and I just know this one isn't going to budge. And they also say that the mattes wear effortlessly for eight hours. So there's that. Matte nude now. Mmm. Mm-mm. I love a cool tone nude. This one is really nice. Another metallic. The next color I want to show you is called the Zaya, and it's like this amazing fuchsia color. It's a liquid vinyl finish, so it should really pack a punch. Can't get over how smooth these ones feel. Another vinyl, because it's my favorite finish, I think. Whoa. I know I'm saying every color is my favorite, but this is my favorite. Another matte, this time a nice pastel pink. It's called Pink Zinc, which is a satisfying name. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds for it to dry down. Okay, this is like a dolly pink, dusty pink. Is it dusky or dusty pink? I can never remember. But it's really nice. Transfer proof once again. I kind of did two layers for this and I'm surprised how like not crusty it is. It still feels soft. Okay, final one. My lips are really feeling it. But this one is called Quiet Riot. But there's nothing quiet about this. This is a really nice intense wine color. So this is going to be beautiful because it's a matte. I love a good deep red lip color. This is the finished look. I chose to finish it off with the Desire liquid lip. And this is my favorite one. I love the glossiness. I love the vibrant pink color. And I think it really uh, pops so much. That along with some of those reds is just divine. I can't wait to wear this one out. And the makeup look that I did came out perfect. This foundation is just the perfect amount of coverage and paired with a beautiful vibrant lip like this. I love it. Fluffy lashes, nice flawless skin that still looks like skin, and then this Pack-a-Punch liquid lipstick. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite color or which is your favorite finish to these lipsticks. Have you tried them? Let me know what you think. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.